Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video I am going to discuss a few strategic tips which you can take in the next few days with regard to your forthcoming board examinations. Now first and the foremost thing is uh, have a printout of your syllabus in front of you and uh, check chapter wise whether you have finished each and every topics as given in the syllabus. Okay as given in your prescribed syllabus this is the foremost important thing okay the other important thing is read from your own notes okay don't uh, depend on the notes as given by your uh, coaching institutes teachers or whatever based on your school notes or your coaching institute notes you must have developed your your own notes so read from those notes okay own notes why I'm stressing on your own notes because you have a better understanding of your own notes rather than notes given by your friend or any other teacher or any printed material okay and it is better to have some short notes okay short notes of each chapter cons consisting of important points important uh, derivation list and those things okay while revising from NCRT go through uh, the checklist of the topics uh, as given in your NCRT uh, have a superficial reading and uh, then go through the all the summary points and the points to ponder as given in the back of each chapter okay now regarding the numericals uh, practice in this way like uh, when you look into the new numerical uh, check what are all the quantities are given and then what is to be fine and then think for a moment then whether you will be able to do that question or not in what way you will proceed okay now if in a particular question if you are having some doubt then on a pen and paper try out that question okay but uh, practically at this moment yeah, i will not suggest you that you should uh, solve sorry, a lot of numericals and all just a superficial overview will do okay but the most important thing is see while uh, revising pay more attention on the fundamentals okay now what i mean to say is like for example uh, when you calculate torque on a current loop uh, for uh, the expression is tau is equal to m cross b okay uh, M is the magnetic moment, B is the magnetic field, strength of the magnetic field. So, uh, what will be the direction of torque from this expression? Okay, that is the general uh, observation from the cross product rule. Then, what about M? M is the magnetic moment, M is equal to I into A. Okay, now what is the direction of, so M is in the direction of area vector, M is equal to magnetic moment equal to I into A. So, I is the strength of the current, A is the area. Now, in case there are n number of terms, m will be nia. So, m is equal to nia. n is a scalar quantity, i is a scalar quantity, a is a vector. So, m will be in the direction of the area vector. And area vector is always in the direction of normal to the plane in the direction of magnetic field. So, these fundamental things you must have a proper understanding. You must not commit any mistake in the fundamentals. Okay. Now, uh, with regard to this board examinations, they only, they will check you the strength of your fundamentals okay for complex question you have the entrance examinations so your fundamentals needs to be proper and correct okay now next you make a list of devices in that chapter list of devices list of derivations list of laws okay when you have this list you will not miss out anything it is like when your mother suggests you to go to market and buy some things and if you have prepared a list then it is quite obvious that it, you are not going to forget any of the items but if you don't prepare a list it is quite often that you will forget okay you forget to bring sugar or coffee or whatever okay so make a list make a proper list in pen and paper that okay these are the devices okay i have read this and these are the laws i have read this these are the derivations i have read this okay these things you must do okay now next is check out your mass distribution based on your syllabus for each chapters okay now for students who are from cbc board like for them electrostatics and current electricity this is combined it contains 15 marks and electrostatics have again two chapters electric charge and uh, electric potential and capacitance okay so three chapters combined you have 15 marks then you have magnetism magnetic effect of electric currents magnetism and matter emi ac okay five chapters Oh, sorry four chapters and totally 16 marks then electromagnetic waves optics and wave optics this is combined as a single unit in this unit has 17 marks dual nature atoms nuclei 
these three chapters has uh, combined 10 marks and then electronic devices and communication system they have 12 marks okay now uh, with regard to the students from assam high secondary education council they have a bit different uh, marks distribution like uh, dual nature separately it has four marks communication five marks electromagnetic waves three marks now these uh, students who have this paper pattern with five marks three marks and two marks now for five marks question that is a long answer type questions obviously you will not be given questions from electromagnetic waves because electromagnetic waves has three marks okay similarly you will not be given a long answer type question from dual nature because dual nature have four marks so uh, you must not read long answer type questions from these chapters okay pay more attention for five marks question for council students assam high secondary board students pay more attention to the chapters like uh, magnetism optics uh, electromagnetic induction electrostatics those chapters okay optics means ray optics and wave optics combined okay now for cbc board students like uh, see the weightage is distributed almost equal like they have combined the chapters electrostatics current electricity 15 mark electronic devices and communication again 12 marks so it is not uh, like it is not advisable that for five marks question you neglect any of the chapters okay so uh, selective study i'm not advising you for, go for going for selective study okay now this is the uh, so see you if you are going to attempt your examination with full confidence you must have some few things in your hold like you should have like proper confidence that okay i have finished the syllabus okay so for that i have advised you to take a printout of the syllabus okay then you should have confidence with regard to the uh, few intricate things inside the syllabus derivations definitions and uh, and concepts, principles, laws, okay, difference between terms, compare and contrast like related questions may come. So, and then this, when I gave you the examples about the fundamentals, like you should have a proper understanding if current is flowing in a particular direction, what, what will be the direction of magnetic field. And you should have understanding of these concepts. I'm not saying you that you should buy heart. Once you buy heart, start buy hearting, everything is lost, okay. So, you should understand in such a way that your concepts are crystal clear, okay. So now with this, I uh, sign off this video and I wish that you do well in your forthcoming board examinations. My best wishes. Good luck.